This is Chris with Chipper LLC Traders and Equipment with the Cinelion FTS 1230 Firewood Trommel. Um, and uh, this pile over here you'll see is we have a large firewood business and this is about a year's worth of people being really sloppy and just all the rejects as they were loading trucks just winding up on the ground. So there's a mix of stuff that we're processing that's it's dirt, it's rocks, it's bark, it's firewood. So this is probably worst case kind of um, screening that you would ever have. Um, the great thing we like about this screen is it's um, where you could set it up for a traditional operation where it's just doing wood as it's uh, being split. But this is a, a high volume um, a trommel that can be fed with a skid steer and it's able to uh, um, you know, extract even stuff like this where it's, there's more dirt in this than there is firewood that's coming out. So um, heavy with a lot of uh, with a lot of trash in there, but uh, 10 foot long drum, 43 inches in diameter, and it's really able to process it uh, quickly. Um, so it's got a 16 foot uh, discharge conveyor. Uh, it's adjustable height, so we have it not too high. We have it more where to go long to get out into these dumpsters. And what we're doing is we're just running the firewood into dumpsters as we uh, as we do it. The specs on this: it has an 80 inch long in feed hopper. The drum is 43 inches in diameter by 10 feet long, and the conveyor is 16 foot long by 24 inches wide. It is a three phase powered system, so it's made and it makes it very flexible where if you have on-site three-phase power you can wire this machine directly in and make it rigid mounted on site it actually comes included with uh, the axles and it comes with the onboard uh, polar three-phase generator so if you want to run it on gas power you can run it on gas power, the generator just powers the motors, or if you have it on site, you wanna skip the, uh, the generator, you can run it right off of uh, uh, your own site electricity. And you can see it just processed through these large dumps of, of wood really quickly. So it capable of a traditional outfit or capable of receiving multiple streams of firewood from multiple splitters uh, and also capable of like this where it's bulk feeding. And what I like about bulk feeding is if you have an application like us that you saw that big building that was in the front uh, that stores several hundred yards of wood and when it comes off the splitters it's pretty clean it actually is when we go to deliver it that after it sat for six months or a year all the bark falls off and then this has just got this got firewood mixed in with it so being able to process this stuff out and this is showing so we've been running it for a while at this point so what we did is we just kind of used some of the rejects that fell out the bottom and just kind of kept rocking it backwards and forwards and building the tire height up so that we now have it kind of set up. We have it jacked high in the front um, and the, the rear tires and the rear jacks are sitting on um, some just of the overflows that fell out. Now we've got it where we can take a skid steer and just get underneath it and keep it cleaned as we're working. So. At this setup, we're able to feed it with skid steer, um, so it's not too high to be able to feed it with a skid steer. We're able to clean out from under it with a skid steer, and what we're doing is we're actually piling this organic, and we're going to use um, a Cena Lion uh, um, soil screener to suck all the good dirt out of this, because there's a lot of good dirt mixed with sawdust and organic in that topsoil, and that'll be another video, different machine to clean that. And so here we go, about 200 yards of reject material that was a liability, uh, converted into about uh, three dumpster loads, that's the third one, 45 yards, about eight cords of firewood reclaimed of about $2,000, and we have a pile of about 150 cubic yards that's now dirt, which we'll redo through our soil screener, which we'll have in a separate video, so we'll save some good out of that, and uh, anyway, it took us less than a day for reclaiming about uh, $2,000 worth of firewood.